Okay. Um, in this problem, taking a look at an airplane that is 16,000 feet above the ground and descending at a rate of 1,200 feet per minute, and the question is, how long will it take before it reaches the ground? So I'm going to do a couple of things here. First of all, I'm just going to make a graph that shows the altitude. There's our starting point, 16,000 feet above the ground. Now we can just you know, kind of plot where it's at if every minute it loses 1,200 feet of altitude. And we can do the same thing with a table over here. So let's start with the table. I'm just going to fill out the table. And all we have to do is just subtract 1,200 feet for every minute. And we'll just see how long it takes before we reach the ground. And I won't make you sit through all of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, um, so anyway, so I filled out my table, and as you can see, I got in a hurry, and I got sloppy partway through, and I'm working in pen, and I didn't feel like rewriting the whole thing, so I just scribbled some stuff out here. So you can see, based on my table, that between 13 and 14 minutes somewhere, so at 13 minutes, we're still 400 feet above the ground. At 14 minutes, we're below ground, so that's a problem. So somewhere in between 13 and 14 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and plot these points on my grid just to kind of get an idea of where we're at here. Um, I'm not going to plot all the points. I'm just going to plot the ones that are fairly easy. So for example, I have it five minutes. We're at uh, 10,000 feet. So five, that's 10,000. And then at, um, let's see, 10, we are at uh, 4,000, right? 10 minutes. We're at 4,000, and then I'll just draw a line that goes through those two points. Hold on here a second. Okay, so I've got my, line this up nicely, there we go, and it looks like our plane meets at 10, 11, 12, 13, a little past 13, so the graph works, lines up with what we have in our table, but we still have to figure out exactly where that is. Um, so I could write the equation of this line, the slope, so I've got the point, uh, 5, comma, 10, and we're just going to say 10 instead of, oh no, I might as well make it correct, 10,000. And then up here, this point is 0, comma, Did she go out at all yet? no. 16,000, so we'll do my change in Y, change in X. They're going to go, it's now. Okay, slope. So our change in Y is 10,000 minus 16,000, which is negative 6,000. Our change in X is 5 minus 0. Uh, so that is 5, so our slope, change in y over change in x, is negative 6,000 over 5, which simplifies to negative 1,200, but notice, we already know that number, it's the plane is descending at 1,200 feet per minute. So then we can write our equation um, in slope-intercept form, and I've actually kind of already done that up here. Um, so if we use t as our, our variable, t is time, it's the slope is mx, so negative 1,200 times t. And our y-intercept was at 16,000. So now what we have to do is plug in an um, altitude, and our altitude that we're interested in is 0. So 0 equals 16,000 minus 1,200t. So I'm going to subtract 16,000 from each side equals, I'll be negative over there, 1,200t. And then I'll just divide both sides by 1,200. And if I go clear, 16, 0, 0, 0, divided by 1,200, I get this decimal. I don't want to deal with the decimal, so instead I'm going to do 16... Thousand. I'm going to use the ABC button, 1,200. To write this as a fraction, it's going to be 13 and one-third. So we have 13 and one-third equals T. And that's the time, 13 and one-third minutes 
and that's the time at which the plane lands. So again, just to go over our process, we started out, we made a table of values, which I kind of messed up royally, where we just kind of took off 1,200 feet for every minute to see where we landed, and we saw that we were somewhere between 13 and 14, but that doesn't give us an exact value. We then graphed the table. We had our um, initial time right here, zero, we're at 16,000 feet. We saw that at five minutes, we were at 10,000 feet. So we kind of sketched our line on down, and we saw that we reached the ground somewhere between 13 and 14 minutes. Again, we wrote the equation for this line. We had to find the slope first, the change in Y, 10,000 minus 16,000. The change in X, five minus zero, gave us negative 1,200 for our slope. But we knew that already because that's the rate. We talked about slope as a rate. That's the rate at which the plane is descending. And then we just plug in, once we have our equation in slope intercept form, we just plug in zero for an altitude, because that's what we're interested in. And we solve for t for time, and we get 13 and a half minutes.